We'll go ahead and get started. Um, uh, these are the easiest candles <laughs> you'll probably ever make. They're really fun to do. Um, and you can get them online. And they come in a lot of different colors. And they make really great gifts. And they make really great uh, decorations. This is what people normally like to do with them. I know because uh, I got this idea because um, cousin had a wedding like before COVID and all that. And they had these really uh, cute decorated pieces with uh, be the road beeswax candles. That's where I got the idea. Um, and like I said, these are honeycomb sheets. The the best environment to roll them in is uh, is at room temperature. If um, the room's too cold, the beeswax, it might crumble or break. So if it's too cold or your hands are too cold, you might want to try and warm them up a bit. Another way of doing that is if you have a, a blow dryer, you can put it on the lightest settings and very lightly like blow dry over your um, your sheet because that'll make it easier to roll. But yes, these are super easy to do. You have the one sheet, um, one piece of wick, a toothpick, um, some twine, and these little uh, cork jars. Okay. So the first step is actually taking your weight and just lining it up as close as to the edge as you can. And then you're gonna carefully lift it up and just really start rolling. You wanna be firm, but you don't wanna push too hard or you'll break it. And the tighter you roll it, the longer your candle will burn. So that's why you want it as tight and as close to the wick as possible. So hopefully y'all can see it. See? Yeah. What's really great about beeswax candles is they have a natural scent. They burn really cleanly, which is nice. Like no toxic fumes because they're natural. And um, you can add scents to them. It's not really recommended because they already have that honey smell to them when you burn them. But you can like drop some essential oils um, in the honeycomb. You don't want to do it near the wick though. Yeah. And the wick we're using, um, we're just using um, like a plain wick. But what some people like to do, they like to dip it in leftover, like um, they'll melt like pieces of the honey honeycomb and they'll dip the wick in there for uh, a longer burn so that's something you can do in the future yeah so I'm going to go nice and slow and be firm see and you just kind of push it down a bit to close it off nothing extra that you really have to do with these like I said and like I said, like, these are the easiest candles you'll probably ever make because you don't really have to melt anything and they come in the honeycomb sheets already made. Sometimes Hobby Lobby will have them, uh, okay. but you can also get them off Amazon. Mm. Yeah, Amazon has a lot of kits that you can use too and a lot of the different colors, but most craft stores will carry them. I'm just going to cut the wick a bit to make it smaller. And that's pretty much how you roll a beeswax candle. It's really simple. So the next part is we're going to uh, place it on the, the little cork. So you're going to take your toothpick and you're just going to make a hole in the center. The first time um, I was messing around with these and trying to figure out how to do the, the best ways to do this, <laughs> I used a, a glue gun, which was not <laughs> the best idea. It ended up melting <laughs> the bottom of the candle. So once you have your hole, you can just uh, cut your toothpick and go up at an angle. And then you can just slide it on there pretty easily. I think I made mine too long. And it fits in there just nicely. This time I actually got it in the center. Every time I've done it so far, it's been a little off center. And then I gave y'all some ribbon and some twine so y'all can decorate the bottle. 
Um, you don't have to do it exactly as I do it. And if you have anything you want to add to it, a lot of people, like I said, they um, they make these and they like to give them, uh, they put them out as decoration or they'll give them as a gifts. And they'll add uh, like lace or burlap to the decoration. And like, like I said, um, I got this idea, this idea from uh, my cousin's wedding. They, um, they had them in this, like where people sat and they put um, like the, the people's names on the jars, which I thought was really nice. Different um, place setting card. <laughs> Yeah. And they added like um when they wrapped it with lace they added and other people too though I'm like um like small flowers to it. Um I've seen people do lavender, which I think looks really nice, especially with um this one because it's uh there's this one doesn't have any color and the the purple kind of makes it stick out a bit I'm trying not to burn my fingers again i think i feel like i always burn my fingers with the glue gun Yeah, because that's what a lot of people like to do with these candles. They'll, um, they'll have them as decoration or put them in gift baskets. I'm going to get my loose. Just rolling it to make it easier to stick on here. Yeah. So I'm gonna glue this on here, but the trick is to go very light with the glue. Because you don't want to get the candle <laughs> with the glue on. I've learned that the hard way. I've seen uh, designs where people will they'll use two different colors, which I think are really neat. Right, and that's how you roll them, and this is how you just make the little decorated piece. <laughs> <laughs>